myself, I swear You don't need nobody else, I swear I want to out of myself because I'm selfish I want to out of myself, I swear Yo, what's up? I'm Khadija Nicole and welcome back to my channel If you are new here, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button right now And join the team So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a wash and go Using only gel and I'm not just using any old type of gel Of course, it's going to be Eco Styler, but it's their new black castor oil with flaxseed oil. Got it here, got a cute little tub of it. So I think this tub was about $2. I've been seeing this gel going around YouTube for a minute now, and I finally was able to pick some up at the local beauty supply store. So today I'm going to be doing a wash and go, but using only gel. Now you guys know, but if you don't know, I usually like to add some of my coconut curling cream on my hair first and then use my gel. <sighs> Absolutely love their products. But today I just wanna use the gel just to see, you know, how it works. Now I have been using it a little bit on my edges and I can definitely say that it is different than the regular um, olive oil gel. So yeah, um, I haven't used this as a wash and go throughout my whole head yet. So we're both gonna be experiencing this together. So my hair um, is freshly washed, just co-washed it and it's still wet. So I always have to apply my products when my hair is super wet. Um, that's the best way that my styles always turn out as far as a wash and go. So I might have to add some more water here and there as I'm doing this. But without further ado, I'm gonna jump right into applying this all throughout my hair. So I'm gonna be using this bottle. This isn't this product that's in here anymore. It's just water. And then of course I have some clips. So I can, you know, work with my hair in sections because it's gonna make life a whole lot easier if you have, you know, thick hair like mine. So I like to work in like sections of four and then break them down even more sometimes like within this section. This feels a little, getting a little dried up. So I'm gonna put some more water back into it. I told y'all I like my hair to be like dripping wet, like soaked. This will probably be more ideal to do in the shower. But the only thing I don't like about doing my hair in the shower is like water gets in your product. And ain't nobody got time to be wasting product, you feel me? So my hair is soaking wet now. I'm gonna go ahead and start applying the gel. So when I apply my gel, I like to start like close to the root. I don't know if you guys can see, but I go around the section, all the way around the root. Then I start like smoothing it in and then just get some more, kind of rub my hands together, and then just smooth it. Praying hands method, any type of way you like to smooth. You can already see, starting to pop a little bit. Then I wanna go in, separate that. Gonna work in smaller sections, get some more product, and smooth. And I'm just gonna continue doing this for the rest of this section. All right, so as you can see, I finished this back section. I'm going to move on to this section now. Water, 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 water. I place on you with the water. Like a good glob and begin to go around the perimeter, smoothing. I'll split this. Drag that product. Good old Eco Stella gel down. Drag it down. Apply and drag. <laughs> Apply and drag it. <laughs> I'm kind of dealing, well, I am dealing with like two textures. The ends of my hair are damaged, if you guys don't know. I had my hair bleached before. I'll never do that again in my life. Got this side done. Now I just gotta finish up the top part. Now I know some of y'all probably don't believe me when I say my hair is color damaged, but you can see it right here in the front. Like, do y'all see this? You see that? That is what bleach damage looks like. So now I've just finished applying the gel all throughout my hair and I just wanna go in and like do my baby hairs right now. So that's what I'm about to do. All right, now I'm using the 
cream of nature little edge brush i have two of them i got this one too but this one's kind of bigger so i got two of them so i'm gonna use this one right now though. this one helps me like when i want to really really define it these are just like for smoothing them back but this gets them better like a toothbrush honestly the best thing out of all of them I'm looking in the mirror while I'm looking this way too but honestly the best thing out of all of them is a toothbrush like toothbrush is just so little so you can just you know really get in there good I don't want it to be too flat. I don't like having flat wash and goes. Like some people like to style it this way, but no. Like after it dries, I gotta pick it. I gotta do something, fluff it out with my fingers, something. I don't like flat wash and goes. I need, I need my volume. So right now, this is what my curls are looking like. So my curls look super defined. I just want to talk a bit about the Eco Styler Gel and this once again is the Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil. This also contains vitamin E, fiber, and omega-3. That's what's up. It's for all hair types. Alcohol free and this is the Max Hold Max Shine. Yes. So this also says it is supposed to promote hair growth. I'm pretty sure that comes from the Black Castor. Alongside promoting hair growth, it promotes shine. It nourishes, repairs, and grows. Yes, I need all of this. Um, no flakes, no tag, and anti-itch. This is just like heaven in a bottle. And as far as what it looks like, it looks like just gel, but it has like a glitter like feel to it. It didn't leave glitter on my hands or anything, but I don't think it did. It has like a glisten glitter look to it not sure if you guys would be able to tell but it, it has like a glitter look to it smell it smells really good yeah i don't think the other one really has a scent but this one smells really good yeah i know i love to have my hair smelling good so that's always a plus so now i'm just gonna zoom in and let you guys get a closer look at what my curls are looking at right now while they are you know setting in really good and starting to dry so as you guys can see my hair looks super juicy the curls are popping like you honestly can't even tell you honestly can't even tell right now that i do have um a little damage on the end everything is like coming together really good really nicely look at that shine baby my hair looks juicy yeah Yes, I'm tripping out. I am tripping out. Get into it. it. Has a lot of movement. All right, so right now I'm just gonna let my hair continue to air dry, and I will come back to you guys when it's completely dry, and we're gonna add some volume and do everything that Khadija likes for her washing goes. All right, guys, so it is now like almost midnight. I believe it's like 11.50 ish. Um, so I've been letting my hair air dry all day. I uh, wash my hair around like two something and it's midnight now. And believe it or not, my hair is like still damp at three. It takes my hair forever to completely dry. I say it's like 85% dry right now. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. See, it's still kind of flat right here. I need to go in and give it some volume. Yes, but yeah, it's the ends are dry. It's just in the roots. They're still damp. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and wrap my hair up for bed. And then tomorrow, I'm going to come back and fluff it out and give me all of my volume and everything that I like to have. So I'll be back tomorrow with my final, final results. You guys will, you know, get the full effect. All right, guys. So it is now the next day. So all I did for bed was put this scarf on my head. And then I also put an elastic and put a pineapple at the top of my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and take it down now. And then it's just like this. So I have to kind of shake it out. Hold my earrings. Okay, still looking crazy. Yeah, 
and this is usually how like your hair will look in the morning and i think my hair is it's still damp right here y'all my hair is crazy i'll still be able to wear it though because it's not a lot it's just like a little bit right here so just start to fluff it out so now got my handy dandy pick gonna start fluffing it getting some more volume so you just kind of hold it and then just lift out you don't want to do it too rough because you don't want to you know break your hair off or nothing and then if it's like random pieces that are like hanging longer than the rest of your shape you can always just you can always just go in with some water so it'll kind of shrink back up. So I'm just keep messing with my hair until I get it how I want it to look. All right guys, so this is pretty much my final result after fluffing my hair out. It's all dried up and everything now. And yeah, I must say, I really do like the new Eco Style Gel, the um, Black Castor and Black Seed Oil. I wouldn't say that it gave me like that much different of results. Like, I still love my results. I've seen other people's videos where they were like, didn't really work out for them. But it's definitely two thumbs up for me. And I really like the fact that it, you know, includes the black castor and the flaxseed oil because those are two really great ingredients. So I probably will use, um, I'll still use both this one as well as the olive oil one but I might use this one more just because it's new um also like the smell of it so like once again that's a plus for me so yeah I'm definitely feeling the new eco style gel once again I didn't use any other products on my hair all I used was the gel so these are the gel results only and yes it's popping like i have all my volume that i want my hair is shiny as it says it would be it feels really fluffy and just soft i'm loving it i'm loving it get into fro y'all haven't had to do a wash and go i haven't did a wash and go in forever and i'm feeling it yes <laughs> So with that, that pretty much sums up today's video. Let me know in the comments below if you've used this new Eco Style Gel before and how did it work out for you. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Helps your girl out. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. And I'm out. Twerk. Girl, I want to see you twerk. I throw a little money for twerk. I don't really think you can twerk.